In this video, I want to demonstrate my do-it-yourself wireless transmitter to boom pole adapter. On most projects I work on, I'm working alone and I have little time for running and managing XLR cables back to the camera where I'm recording and monitoring the audio. Having a wireless boom pole is the ideal solution. Sennheiser makes a plug-on transmitter for this purpose, but it would cost $300. I already have the G3 wireless system, which includes the body pack. I spoke to some reps from True Audio, and they advised that that really was the standard way of doing it. But rather than attach the plug-on transmitter to the mic directly, they suggested using a mounting bracket to attach the transmitter to the pole top. This gave me an idea. I had some leftover scrap aluminum U-channel from a previous project and looked for a way to repurpose this into a mounting bracket. The body pack already has a very secure wire belt clip. I didn't want to alter it or remove it in order to attach the mounting bracket. The solution was to cut a piece of aluminum U-channel the size of a belt and snap the clip over it. I started by cutting a piece down to one inch width so that once it passes over the belt clip, it is trapped inside. My road boom pole has a 3 8 inch standard screw mount, which is at the end of a 5 8 inch diameter shaft on the last section of the pole. I wanted to have my bracket to easily fit over the threads and rest flush against the pole shaft. I started by drilling out the 3 8 inch diameter hole centered the 3 quarter inch flange of the U-channel. I then drilled the 5 8 inch diameter hole in the opposite end, then cut the holes through to the edge of the flange and then finished it off using a Dremel. Once cut, sized, and drilled, I needed to attach the two pieces of channel aluminum together. To do this, I drilled out both pieces on the drill press and then attached them together using 1 8 inch aluminum pop rivets. To mount the bracket to the body pack, I slip the top end under the base of the belt clip and then slide the bracket up until it clicks in place. Perfect. A coat of primer and a couple of coats of black paint and we're done. All told, for under five bucks and an afternoon of work, I have a quick, easy and simple mounting solution that is good or better than the off-the-shelf solutions I looked at. This saves me from buying a separate transmitter and allow me to use the equipment I already have. I hope you found this video and DIY project helpful and maybe it will encourage you and others to come up with other innovative photography and filmmaking solutions. Mm -hmm.